Pajaro Valley Unified School District Superintendent Dr. Michelle Rodriguez was back at work this morning after five contentious days of chaos after the Board of Trustees removed her from her job. Rodriguez was reinstated, but there are still many unanswered questions as to how it got to that point. Action News 8 reporter Phil Gomez has more. After a few contentious days, Pajaro Valley Unified School District Superintendent Michelle Rodriguez returned to work and it was business as usual. Rodriguez arrived at the Twin Towers at 8 a.m. Monday morning. I'm glad to be back to keep serving the students in the community. The community made it known to the school trustees that they were not okay with the superintendent's dismissal. Georgia Acosta and Oscar Soto claim they received death threats, which led them to reverse their initial decision to terminate Rodriguez's contract. The sheriff's office in Watsonville police state they have not received complaints from either party. I've never seen one in all my years of politics that would ever say they were changing a vote because of a threat. Part of PVUSD is in unincorporated Monterey County, and that's why Supervisor Luis Alejo is calling for an investigation. He says he has more questions than answers. How did this even come about? Was there a Brown Act uh, violation that placed this on the agenda among the board, the majority board? Um, and also, why were outside resources like a personal or outside Zoom accounts being used for uh, a closed session. The Santa Cruz County Office of Education could also investigate if called upon. They would look at if there were any violations during the governance of the meetings. For now, there is a new board vice president and president who would like to move forward. Where I want my focus to be is moving forward and, and working to serve the, the students of the district. I have always said that we need to put our students first and so I'm willing to um, to work collaboratively with them. Superintendent Rodriguez will meet with the full board of trustees at their next meeting, which is scheduled for February 10th. In Watsonville, Phil Gomez, KSBW, Action News 8.